What is up guys, it's your boy Swalem here, back with another Wrath of the Lich King classic in gold making video. So today we'll be focusing on some easy gold in Wrath of the Lich King classic, and we'll be focusing more on the aspect of gold making, rather than gold farming. So I have a couple of videos coming out about farming gold as well, and various ways to make gold in Wrath. Today I want to focus on some very easy ways to make gold in Wrath using three different professions. So today we're covering mining, enchanting, and jewel crafting. We are also covering both Wrath of the Lich King uh, crafts and also previous expansion crafts. This means that if you're a brand new player for example, you can literally start making gold before getting to the skill points of Wrath. So basically if you have like 300 skill points or even vanilla skill points as well, you can still make some gold and some of it starts really really early. So even if you have like, let's say you're starting Wrath right now, you have a level 20 or a level 30 character, you can start making some gold literally right now and then that gold will help you make even more gold later down the line as well. So once again, today we're covering mining, enchanting, and jewel crafting, both for high skill points or high skill ceilings, and a low barrier to entry as well. Before that though, I do want to give a massive shout out to everyone who's picked up my gold guide for Wrath Classic recently. The support has been really, really awesome. Thank you guys so much. I'm so happy that you're happy with it. And if you want to check it out, the link is down below. This is basically a full-fledged gold guide for Wrath itself, and I will keep updating this guide throughout the experience expansion when necessary, and you also get early access to videos just like this one. Basically, when you buy the guide, you will have the guide itself, and also you will have access to a private Discord server, where I personally share even more gold making info, and I release these early access to these videos over there as well, and I'll be talking even more about my future investments, and my future gold making plans in Wrath Classic over there as well. So if you want to make gold in Wrath, and you want to know more about my personal gold making plans, definitely consider checking it out through the link down below, and you can even use the code SOLHEIM to get it for half price. With that being said, let's get right into the, today's video, and for this one, it's really important that you have TSM, so Trade Skill Master, and you also want to set up Trade Skill Master and the Trade Skill Master app in your browser, that way you will have this window right here, helping you out with your professions. This one is super super handy, this way you can see, for example, you can see the sell rates and also the profits of every single craft. So just using Titan Steel as an example here, you can see the profit is 37.9 gold per craft. This one is on a cooldown though, but you can still see the profits per craft, and you can see the sell rate right next to the profit margins right here as well, giving you an indicator of how good this item is, and the bigger this number is, the better it is when it comes to selling. You can also hover over the item, then you can see the region average daily sold, which helps you get like, it helps you determine how many are being sold on a daily basis, helping you determine how many you want to craft. Let's say this one only had a region average daily sold number of 1, you wouldn't really want to have a thousand titan steel alts ready to go, if they only sell one per day. Either way, if you scroll down here, we have three crafts in mining that I think are worth looking at. So first of all, if we take a look at this one right here, Smelt Fell Steel. This one has 10 gold profit, 0 0.286, and if you hover over it, it has a region average daily sold of 7. Personally, this one is just super super simple, and you can make some gold with it. You won't get richer though, but it's a really low barrier to entry. You need to have 350 skill in mining to start doing this one, once again you get 10 gold profit per craft, and it's selling 7 of them every single day on a daily average, so definitely worth keeping an eye, eye out for it. But then again, you don't want to produce hundreds of them, but if you craft, let's say, 25 of these right now, and just sell them over time, that's an easy 250 gold, which can be really helpful to brand new players. Going further down, we also have Smelt Mithril, for example. This one you can see only has 26 silver profit, but already has a much, much higher sell rate. It has 0 0.445, and if you hover over it, you can see 487 region average daily sold. So there's a quite a huge chunk of mithril bars being sold every single day, meaning that even though they have less profit 
per craft, you will be selling more of them. So less profit each, but much more quantities being sold, which overall gives you a lot more gold as well. So this one definitely worth knowing about, and based on it having a huge, huge quantity of sell rate, you definitely want to, let's just say you craft a thousand mithril bars, that's going to give you about 260 gold over time, and if you are the only one providing the, those, uh, those bars, you can sell that in just about two days. Next up, we have one more that I want to take a look at. Uh, first of all, Mithril 175 skill, by the way. So you can start doing this one super, super early. Next up, you have Smelt Bronze. This one, just like Smelt Mithril, has 33 silver or almost 34 silver profit and a huge sell rate. It's basically uh, almost about the same, but region average daily being sold is 260 bronze bars. And when you craft this one, you're basically turning one tin and one copper into two bronze bars. So you have the crafting cost right here, and then you have the price of bronze bars, and then just remember you get two bronze bars, not just one. So there we go, huge profit to the margins on the bronze bars themselves. Actually right now the profit margins for me is way more than this one, because the crafting cost is 78 silver, and the bronze bars right now have a, a min buyout of 1.12. So this one right here, definitely worth knowing about for the bronze bars. They are selling like hotcakes, and once again they have a huge, huge daily sell rate. Not just as huge as mithril bars, but once again, these ones you get access to super early. You only need to have 65 skills in mining, and you can start printing hundreds of gold every single day. Check it out if you want to. So that's mining done, let's move on to my personal favorite, jewel crafting. Okay, so for jewel crafting, we don't have anything in the lower skill ranges. Well, you might be able to find something you can craft in the lower skill ranges if you really want to. Like if you go to miscellaneous, for example, you can just find something profitable that you personally have faith in. But personally, whenever I determine what I want to craft, I do take a look at the sell rate and also the profit margins. So for example, what I personally like doing is crafting these things right here. So the emerald choker, for example, the ruined mana band, the scarlet signet, the sky sapphire amulet, dream signet, and the jade dagger pendant. You can see they are selling a couple of them, while they have not the best sell rate, but you can see the sell rate right here, right next to them, and they have a fair profit margin as well. Now personally, I usually craft these ones while I'm doing the serenite shuffle, but as you can see, they are profitable even if you buy everything required for the craft itself. So if you just want to get some easy profit by logging on once or twice, every single day doing some crafts well definitely check these ones out once again the names are right here i usually just added added them to the favorited patterns and then just craft them and when they sell i restock so i usually keep a couple of them on me at all times post them on the auction house and when they sell out i start crafting again and do that on repeat now for these ones i usually craft three of them at a time and wait until they sell out Next up then, we have enchanting, so let's finish off with the Wrath of the Lich King crafts first, and then we can move on down in skill tiers afterwards. So first of all, we have the enchant chest, Major Spirit. This one has been making a return ever since healers want more mana of MP5 basically, or mana returns during certain fights in Ulduari, so this one has seen a huge surge in price. You can see the market value has gone up by 333%, pretty much tripling in price, making this one super profitable, and right now you can see on my server, it is profiting at 166 gold for every single one. They are also selling at almost 5 every single day, so if you can be the only one to applying this, you can print almost like almost a thousand gold every single day. When it comes to enchant cloak, greater agility, this one 41 gold uh, profit per one. And when it comes to the sell rate, it's not the same as the spirit one, but still definitely one of the most profitable enchants for wrath in my experience that you can learn from the trainer. Like these ones don't require any extra formulas or anything, you literally pick them up from the trainer. You can also see the region 
average and market value average is almost double the price of my survey, so usually you will get about 120 gold profit on this one, instead of just 41 gold. Next up then, moving down to both TBC and Classic WoW. So Enchant Cloak, Superior Defense, this one right here, 58 gold profit. Enchant Gloves, Minor Haste, this one is really wanted by people enchanting white gloves for example, that they can use when they're leveling alts from level 1 to level pretty much 30 until you get huge upgrades. So you can put this one on a white glove and just send it to an alt, help yourself level, and that is why this one is both profitable and selling kind of well. Then you have the enchant chest that is wanted for heirlooms, for example, so this one right here, super profitable, has a pretty decent sell rate because it is used on heirlooms. Next up we have the enchant weapon, greater striking, super low sell rate, so be aware of this one, but high high profits, super high profit margins, but once again, super low sell rate, so be aware. Enchant boots, minor speed, wanted by boosters, uh, dungeon runners, uh, twinks, people leveling alts, uh, pretty much anyone wants this enchant because it simply helps them out. Anyone farming dungeons as well definitely wants this just for that minor speed increase, helping their overall efficiency. You can see this one right here has a better sell rate than the chest enchant right here, so definitely worth knowing about, like literally ha has a better sell rate and also almost twice as much uh, profit margin. Next up, large prismatic shard. This one selling 67 per day, huge sell rate and one gold profit per craft, literally turning three small prismatics into one large prismatic. This was a shuffle that was well known back in the day and has kind of been forgotten, and maybe it's coming back, and if it's not, well, you have an easy way to print some gold. Once again, it's not going to make you absolutely rich, but if, you are a, if you're starting out your gold making journey, or you're starting out your wrath journey, definitely worth knowing about these uh, crafts right here. So those are some of the crafts that I'm personally doing to make profit in Wrath, and I wanted to share them with you guys, so now I'll be making less profit. I hope you enjoyed this video though, and I hope it helps you make some gold as well in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a, leave a like down below, and consider subscribing for future gold making videos. Leave a comment down below how you are making your gold in Wrath, and that is pretty much it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.